Hey guys, so here we go with uh, Ugly M Got Some Paint. So you can't see from this photo, but the paint that was on the Miata was pretty bad. And uh, I mean like, you can't, again, you can't see it, but see around that door handle right there? The paint is just peeling off and that's the way a lot of the car was um, this is actually after the bodywork had already begun the this particular panel um, had a lot of um, peeling paint and stuff like that so here here's how this worked out I went out to do an audit and I met a guy that while I was out there that had a body shop um, he, he saw me with my cameras and stuff and saw me walking up and he just stopped and asked me what 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 was going on what I was doing and uh, you know ended up having a really nice chat with the guy and he gave me one of his business cards so as I do um, you know uh, I network you know this, this is somebody that I met that can he can probably use the business and you know if I can talk him in and give me a little discount well you know why not so um, I just expected uh, that this guy would do, you know, just a quick Mako type job for me, and and I and I was fine with that. Um, I wasn't looking for, you know, premium service. Remember, this is a budget car, and I will tell you that this guy, his name is uh, James, went way, way, way above and beyond. I mean like way beyond and if you are in the Houston area and you need body work um, or, or mechanic work done um, I'm gonna put the uh, contact information for this guy in the description and and I highly recommend it highly recommend him now he takes a limited amount of work um, he's not one of these mass production kind of body shops he uh, he, he just takes, you know, one or two cars at a time, and that's it. So, keeping that in mind, uh, I'm going to run through this real quick so you guys can get a, a feel for just how deep into it this guy went. Project Ugly M Gets Paint. Okay, so this is the picture you were just looking at. Now, I want you to notice something in this picture, and we'll get to this in a minute. Uh, notice how nice that top looks. I mean, it's it's just been armor-alled, and the top is actually in pretty good condition. The back window's a little hazy, and it's got a crack right here. You can't really see it, because I've put a piece of tape on it from the inside. Um, but uh, it, it's, in, it's in usable, serviceable condition. When you're driving around, you don't have the top up anyway. So it doesn't really matter, but just We'll get back to that in just a second, you'll understand. So here you can see that fender when it was stripped down. There was a little bit of bodywork here. Um, and, and he gutted that and completely redid it. Um, this is when the spoiler was still on and stuff so this was where it began now when I look at this I was okay with this I'm like you know cool this is what I expected we're gonna sand it maybe strip a few panels get it ready and then we're gonna just paint it right that's what I expected um, now there was it is hard to find a Miata that has not been rear-ended I would say it is near on to next to impossible it's like a unicorn there's another shot of the uh of that panel uh, being stripped down this this car actually had a new panel spliced in right here and uh here you can see where i began to not really panic but i was just like well it's kind of weird take the hood off the paint but okay and uh, we took the little covers off the lights and the windshield wipers and all of this came off. All of this, this panel right here was sprayed again in, uh, 
in black, and it's where the wipers were repainted black. Um, these cupboards that were over this had a bunch of white overspray on them. Somebody had taken a white rattle can and just sprayed this stuff. I mean, you can see right there where they sprayed it. And so there's a lot of overspray all over the place. But we cleaned all that up, and uh, it, as it went back together, it's, uh, it's all black, and it uh, looks pretty good, pretty good. Let's get this rolling again. You know, all that overspray you see right there, and on the other side, it's from the when they did all this. All that's been cleaned off now. Again, another shot. Now, this is where I start to panic. He's like, okay, we got the hood off. Let's get the doors off. And I'm like, what? We're going to pull the doors off? Okay, that's, that's like way more than I expected. So, yes, the doors came off. There's another shot of the doors off. One, of the, one shot of the doors off. This is off. The trunk lid will come off. The spoiler is off. The taillights will come off. This is uh, one of the front panels being stripped down to bare metal. Um, this was actually I got these out of order, but okay. Um, this was before then. It's so another shot of the the door off. Notice both doors off, and it's also uh, see the cracks in the windshield. This windshield is actually was come to find out was loose in this corner and right down in here. Okay, so there's the car kind of taped off and starting to get ready to get primed. Now the reason he took the doors off was so that this area could be painted as well, the door jams. Okay, and there we go, there's the headlight covers. See the, all of this is off, everything. Here we go, now this is where we begun to primer, or he'd begun to primer. Um, I'd actually hit this see that can of universal satin black paint that is uh, what I use to do the windshield wipers and the covers not the the upper covers but the side covers for the Miata's pop-up headlights little trim covers all the lights are out of it all of that's gone And here it begins to get paint. It, uh, it got three coats of paint the first day and then two more the next day. This was the, I think the second coat. Um, you can see up here on the top of the engine, the covers that go over these lights. And that's the gas door. You can see, start to see the door jams taking shape. Okay. And uh, it's starting to starting to look like a car again. There's one of the doors that's laid out to paint. Now, it's not using a booth, so it got a little bit of dust in it here and there, but nothing significant. Um, and we're yet to we haven't done it yet, but we're going to go back and he will polish it out and. Uh, we got a couple of other things to finish, but uh, I needed some time to get some stuff done. I mean, I spent, I expected this whole project start to finish to take a day, two days, three days at the most. I had figured, I start, we started on a Monday, I figured we'd be done by uh, Thursday morning. Actually, we started before that. He spent two days on it, um, stripping it, and then he put some white primer on it so that I could drive it for a few for a, a little bit because I didn't have time to take off and I really wanted to participate in, in this so uh, a couple weeks later it came back and we went to work on it and this is this was the end result now here the cars begun to go back together you see the deck lid at the rear deck lids on the doors are back on the new it's getting the new seals let's see those seals there are new, and by the way, Mazda uh, parts are readily available for these cars, but I will tell you, some of them are a little expensive. These seals, times two, one left, one right, these seals were $150 for the set. That is expensive for a toy car, but you gotta have them. Uh, these aren't done yet, but these, 
will get clear coated when we go back and he, he does the final polish. The rear tail lights will get clear coated and the um, rear deck lid spoiler, I, I, I had him hold on that for a minute and I'll tell you why in just a second. Notice that the antenna, which was, was originally chrome, and these little hardtop holders, which go here, they're not on in this picture, but I did those in black. All the chrome stuff that was on the car is done in black, except for the door handles, which I haven't got to yet. Okay, here we have the mostly finished product, and I've been driving it. There's the still silver door handles. Those will get turned to black. I'm trying, I, I broke this little cover on the mirror that covers the screws. I gotta chase down another one of those. I'm actually thinking of doing the mirrors, redoing the mirrors in black. Um, you can see it's got a brand new windshield in it. The windshield guys, they had, had trouble finding a windshield for this car. In all the Houston area, there was one, and it was a little pricey, but I had to have it. So we couldn't get this done because we had trouble getting the old windshield out, prying it out and stuff. And time was just running out on us. So what I'm thinking to do, I, I gotta make a decision on this and go back and he's gonna paint this upper pillar here, this, the windshield surround. And uh, I'm thinking about doing it in gloss black, doing the mirrors in gloss black. And uh, that way it matches the top. So everything from here up will be black. You guys post in the uh, comment section. Let me know what you think of that idea. Just imagine what you see in the, the black that you see stick out here is black primer uh, where they sealed around where the new windshield went in. But uh, I really think that's an interesting idea. So let me think what, know what you think in the uh, comment section. It would, be de it would definitely be different, I think. It's hard to see, but the hardware back there is black. I still got to do some cleaning up. Uh, these little holes in the fenders, these are for the European cars. They, they got lights there. The U.S. cars just got a little badge that plugs it. If anybody has these Euro lights, reach out to me. I would love to put a set of those Euro lights in the, on the side of this thing. And no, that red marker light is not there by accident. That is intentional. Um, for some reason, this car came with four red marker lights. These front two should be amber and I've got to chase down some that are. But I did know that. I still haven't redone this passenger seat. The driver's seat, as you can see, the, the, the black there is done. Here's a little shot from a little more, a little distant. And I really like how it turned out. It, it looks really nice, it does. It's a, it's a good looking little car. <coughs> Maybe I need like some ghost flames on there, some something to think about. Anybody do uh, custom ghost flames? <laughs> <coughs> okay, so here, here you can see the black hardware right there, and the black antenna and this over here. Those are these little mounts are if you put a hard for when you put a hard top on the car. Uh, so when we go back, my thought was you see the rear deck lid spoiler is not on yet. Um, if I do the, the windshield surround in black, I was thinking to do the spoiler in gloss black as well. Again, you guys comment, tell me what you think. Do you think that's a good idea or should I go back with the body color white? That's, that's the original body color is white. Um, and kick that thing going again. It's a nice, nice view of the little car. And of course, what would a convertible be? How could you run around in a convertible if it wasn't Sissy approved? Yeah, there she is. That is where Sissy likes to sit when we're running down the road in this thing. She enjoys getting up there and, and, and just having the wind in her face. You know, and as it comes, kind of, in a convertible, it kind of comes from behind. That's why you see her ears blown up like that. <laughs> but she does enjoy the little Miata. And uh, 
matter of fact, when I get done with this video, she, she's going to get her ride time. So there it is again. So there we go. I will update the figures for uh, Ugly M's um, price tag. But I can tell you we're well under the 2000 mark, which was which is our budget. We are well, well under it. Um, enough so that I'm going to uh, maybe add a not an obnoxious exhaust system to it, but something a little a little more free flowing than the stock Mazda exhaust. Um, we'll see. I've got to tally everything up, but I will put the the tally in the um, description for the video here. Um, like I said, it, it's come together nice. It looks good. The average person could take a, a little car like this and really have some fun with it. I, I'm, I mean, I'm a little tall for the car. Uh, in it, I'm fine. It's the getting in and getting out. Uh, you know, for instance, the, that blue Corvette that I had, Aquamarine, whatever color you want to call it, you sit in that thing and you look up to the guys in the Camaros. I mean, it's, it's like, hey, you know, they sit quite a bit higher off the ground than you do. This little Miata, you look up to the guys in the Corvettes, okay? And I'm not kidding. Um, it's, it's, really, it's really kind of funny. But uh, it's a fun little car. And uh, life is short and you can't put a price tag on fun. You can't put a price tag on the stress relief that you get you know, running around and just being at one with the road. Uh, a lot of motorcyclists will get it. They'll, they'll, they know what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, I think that's it. So if I do any more mods to it, you guys will know. I will do a final quick video or, or, or something to show you guys um, what it looks like after we, after we polish the paint. Now you can see, like right there, <coughs> you can see the reflection of the antenna. I mean, it 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 is a not. It looks nice. It looks really good. And and this guy, this this guy James, um, when I say he went above and beyond, I mean I cannot, I cannot express to you how deep into this he want he went. And you know the, what he does with cars is is out of passion. And those are the kind of guys you want to find. Yes, he's got to make a little money at it, but money's not his primary motivator, and uh, that's a good thing. That's those are the kind of people we need in this world. Um, I, I hope that that you guys will will give him some business if you uh, get out of this right here. Um, if you're in the Houston area and and you need some quality body work done, I hope you guys will. We'll give him a shout because, like I said, he's he, he went above and beyond on this project. Um, do, 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 I think that's it. Uh, Miss Sissy is laying here beside me, laid up that down like this because she wants to go for a ride. You go for a ride? We'll come up here and say goodbye to everybody. Look over there. There they are. No, right here. They're over here. No, look over here. <laughs> She's being contrary. Oh. All right, all right. I, I keep telling you guys, nobody on this planet loves me like this little dog. So, you guys, I will see you again soon. I'm going to grab Miss Sissy here, and we're going to go put the top down and go for a drive. Y'all be safe, and uh, look for some more videos pretty quick.